Hi, Super Spruce here. I want to answer. I mentioned new game minus minus video. It was at 44, and I can get E76 Eternity points from Eternity. It's really not going to do a lot much. I can get one Time Theorem here. I guess even with Gal even with all the Galaxy Galactic sacrificing, I mean, I I'll be able to get a little more. I think that's actually two Time Theorems right there. So that helps a little bit, but really not a lot much. It's I'm going to get 5 E76 Eternity Points. This will allow me to get one more Eternity Point Multiplier and a few more Time Dimension thingies. Or, which are, yeah, just upgrades. Why am I saying thingies instead of upgrades? No idea. Just get as many as I can, honestly. And then just get as many Time Theorems as, as I can. I'm pretty close to 186 to try Eternity Challenge 9 first time, but uh, no, I can't do that. So, anyway, with this build, I should be able to, like, actually I'm thinking I'm trying to try and act it. So, I'm just going to try the Eternity Challenges in order. Eternity Challenge 1 is Time Dimensions are disabled. So just do the usual Infinity Dimension Active Path with Study 181, and this should, I mean, I have no idea how easy or hard this is going to be. So, yeah, it's just going to, it's just going to be interesting. So... Yeah, I'm just holding, I'm holding R here. I need to get all the, the galaxy upgrades. Um, I, I don't know why I need to do this, but I still need to do this. It's obnoxious, honestly. But here it is. All the galaxy upgrades. This allows me to get E2400 infinity points. Um, let's see how many replicated galaxies. I'm up to 40. Um, let's see. With all these galaxy points, I think the goal is actually E2700. So I'm actually pretty close. And it looks like I can't really Galactic Sacrifice for anything anymore. I'm really close. I'm actually going to try Infinitying just to see if this does anything. Because I'm using Active Path instead of Idle. And this could give me a few more Infinity Points. I'm up to E, like, 2600, 2660, but I don't think I'm going to make it. I'm, I'm just going to try this after another challenge. Because it's not possible now, but it's definitely going to be possible soon. I mean, even if I try Idle Path, I feel like the best strategy is to just, just do a different Eternity Challenge at this point. So, I'm just going to use um, Time Dimension Plus Active for Eternity Challenge 2. Hopefully, this should be possible. Also, for whatever reason, I've never noticed this bar to the right until now. Maybe it's just some random Chrome update. I have no idea. But anyway, I'm just, yeah, just going to go into Eternity Challenge 2. This bar is really triggering me, but it exists and you can't get rid of it because why why could you get rid of something like that like seriously like why like like that that's not in their interest they want to annoy you as well okay, no, that's not what it is but you know it feels like that sometimes and i need e1875 infinity points this should be possible with all these galaxy points yes this there it is e1875 so challenge complete infinity power effects versus infinity dimension with reduced effect this should definitely help and now it's time to try um, Eternity Challenge 3. So I'm, again, I think I'm just going to use the same build as before. It seems to work the best. And I mean, I could use Idle. It's probably a little more powerful, but I don't want to wait like five minutes to get all the replicated galaxies ev every time. So I'm just going to use Active for these Eternity Challenges. So here's Eternity Challenge 3. Hopefully this shouldn't be too bad. So, yeah, E9000 galaxy points. And the goal, I think, is only like E1325. So, yeah, this should be possible with enough replicated galaxies. Or maybe it's not, because I'm, I only have E1200. Actually, I didn't even Galactic Sacrifice there. I probably should have Galactic Sacrificed, but I, I didn't. But anyway, actually, I still beat the challenge here. So, boom, another challenge complete. I'm going to wait for Eternity Challenge 4, because I'm... I'm because it's obnoxious to unlock, and um, I'm nowhere close to beating it, so I'm just going to skip it for now. I'm, I'm going to do Eternity Challenge 5, which is Galaxy Cost Increase Scaling Starts Instantly. Dimension Coost... Uh, dimension Coost? Dimension Boost Cost Scaling is massively increased. So, I think the best thing here is Infinity Dimension plus Active, and that should... That, that should do me wonders, hopefully. I can even use 181 with, like, Eternity Challenge 5, which is crazy. Like, I still have enough time theorems. So, here we go. 
see if this will be possible. I think, I don't even know the goal, what the goal is. It's probably, it's, I'm, I have no idea. Uh, I'm, I have E13, okay, the goal is actually E1500, so it's actually manageable. I feel like I'll be able to beat this. So, boom, another attorney challenge completed. So now it's time to try um, attorney challenge six, where I have to use active path. And it's, it's you, can't gain galaxies normally, but the cost of upgrading your max replicate galaxy is massively reduced. I still think infinity dimension plus active is the best option here. So just do this and I can still get 181. Actually, I need to wait for all the replicated galaxies. I just, I'm just gonna hold R the entire time because I need 45 replicated galaxies to do this. Turning challenge requirements are just dumb. Like I, I really, I really do not know why they're a thing because it's often just a time wall to unlock them, but whatever. Here is the, if I can actually go to time studies, here's the turning challenge six. And the goal is only E1075 infinity points. So I feel like this won't even be that hard. I mean, I, I'm not sure. I mean, maybe you can check like the goals for some of the other ones. Like the goal for three is E1425, which may actually be possible for like the first fifth completion of an eternity challenge. And E1800 is probably not possible. Um, also, uh, I'm noticing that I'm not doing very good with this challenge. I mean, I have E800 infinity points, and I need E1025. Actually, I'm, I'm getting closer and closer, so maybe maybe it'll be better. Like, if I, if I Galactic Sacrifice, that gives me another few orders of magnitude of infinity points, and if I Crunch to reset the active timer, this should help me get more infinity points, except that this is not going to be enough. Because I'm only at E915, I still have over 100 orders of magnitude to go, so this challenge is going to be a fail, unfortunately. Now it's time for Eternity Challenge 7, where I have to do the normal dimension, plus I'll just do active. For this, I need, I guess I'll just, I'll just get this, actually, I'll get it after I get all the other stuff here. So, here it is. Hopefully this challenge will be possible. I feel like it should be possible. Um, yeah, just get, I'm trying to Galactic Sacrifice here, get all of these upgrades, and this, what is the goal here? E1980 Infinity Points. And I'm up to 31 Replicated Galaxies. After Galactic Sacrificing, I'm only at E1600 infinity points, which makes me think that this challenge is probably impossible. So, yeah, uh, that's unfortunate. I guess the next thing to try is Eternity Challenge 8 first time. So th this one I need to use Idle Path for. I'm not even sure if I want to use Time Dimensions. Actually, I think I do want to use Time Dimensions for this one. So, I need, I need to use the idle path. I, I just need enough infinity points. Maybe if I just click C enough time. Yep, that, that does it. So, you can on, only upgrade infinity dimensions 50 times and replicati upgrades 40 times. And I, I'm, I'm honestly really surprised how hard this challenge is. Like, this challenge doesn't even sound hard because a lot of the stuff is based on, like, galaxy points. Yet, I've been unable to beat it. And let's, let's see, I'm at E1600 infinity points. Maybe if I get up to 9% um, here and get a bunch of these purchases. I'm still only on E1700. Even with all these ga with all the galactic sacrifices, it's still taking a while, which is surprising. Like, I feel like maybe I'll just get all of these for the 50 purchases, but I'm only at E1778 infinity points. I mean, I guess I could try to get more replicantes and that will help, but I can't really get all that much because of, you know, like, the replicantes are ten times slower upgrade. It's, like, seriously, this upgrade barely is an upgrade. It's probably more like a downgrade because I'm barely getting the replicated galaxies. And honestly, I'm so far away from the goal of this challenge that I think it's impossible. Like, even if I was to wait, like, many hours, I would get the seven replicated galaxies and such. I mean, maybe it's possible. 
I mean, I have no idea what the reward is. The, re the reward is Infinity Power powers up Replicanti Galaxies. Actually, I think that's one of the better Eternity Challenge rewards. So maybe I'll go for it, because, I mean, maybe seven um, of the galaxies will, like, of the Replicanti Galaxies will do me something. Actually, I just got an achievement here. I don't know how I got this. I, I got it from Galactic Sacrificing. I don't, I have no, I don't think I should have gotten this achievement. But apparently I got it. I, I, I'm going to report this as a bug. Because I, I was already at E100 infinity points. I, I guess I didn't have any infinities. So I guess there's that. Or first dimensions. Oh, I'm guessing, I'm guessing it's sort of a bug, but not really. Like, I, it's weird. I think galactic sacrificing made me lose, like, my first dimensions for one tick. And in that tick, I got this, and I didn't have any infinities because I never crunched this eternity. So, I I don't think it's a bug, actually. I think this is a genuine achievement. And maybe it only checks, like, once every 20 or 30 ticks, and I just got lucky here, and I didn't get lucky before. But there's actually a, a, a reward for this. It's infinity point multiplier based on time spent this infinity. Which will actually help beat the challenge. So I, I'm I'm gonna go for it. I don't know if I can beat this, but perhaps I can beat it. Because I'm yes, I'm 278 orders of magnitude of infinity points off. But I can get a lot more replicanti, which will give me a um, bigger multiplier in infinity dimensions, and more importantly, I can get seven replicated galaxies. Actually I'll get them right here. Because I, yeah, I need to remember that. And maybe with all that, combined with stuff like that achievement reward and this multiplier to infinity points increasing over this infinity, abusing that can get me 80 more orders of magnitude of infinity points from that. So, yeah, that definitely should help. And I, I'm, I'm not sure. I'm going to go for it. Maybe it's not a wise decision, but let's just see where I am in one day. So, yeah, see you in a bit. Okay, it's been 24 hours, and it looks like I can actually beat the challenge. So, yep, I actually didn't expect to beat it by this large of a margin. It's by 93 orders of magnitude and infinity points. Maybe even more if I galactic sacrifice. So, yeah, that, that's that's pretty surprising how I can get all the way up to E2200. But anyway, it's a nice challenge completion. I don't think there's much else I can do other than this challenge completion. It's infinity power... Powers up replicated galaxies. And I think this is where I, yeah, I go for time dimension or disable the first eternity challenge again. And I think this should be possible. Especially with the eternity challenge 8 reward. That's one of the nicest rewards in, in, in like the eternity challenges. So hopefully this will be possible. So um, E12,000. Uh, what do I need? I need E2700 infinity points. Uh, why am I not? Oh, I'm clicking E, not R. Okay. If I Hopefully if I click R, if I get enough replicated galaxies, I should be able to get there. I'm actually really close. Um, yeah, E2670, 2680, 20... Boom. Challenge completion. Just barely. But there it is. I don't think that I can get any other challenges complete. Like, I feel like these are the only ones I can actually do. So I'm just going to go on the normal idle run. And hopefully that should... Uh, yeah, hopefully this will work. Like, I feel like this will at least get me a few more orders of magnitude of eternity points. Like, at the very least. So I've, I've gotten all these. I guess I can just galactic sacrifice. And... It looks like I have... Why do I have significantly less um, infinity points and everything than usual? Why? I, I thought I just got a bunch of good stuff, yet I have less than... Like, I'm only at E2 million, or 2.06 million, when I've gotten E2.24 million. Like, I don't think the replicated galaxies help that much. Also, I have a 104% replicate chance, which I don't think should be possible at this point. Maybe I should just Eternity. Maybe maybe that will fix things. 
Um, I don't see. I don't see. It doesn't seem to be fixing things. Replicate chance is still 104%. Um, I guess that's nice, but it's suspicious. Maybe it's just the galaxy points, honestly. Yeah, it's just the galaxy points. Because you lose your galaxy points whenever you, like, do the eternity challenges. But that, that's a really strange effect, if there if that effect even exists at all. So, yeah, there's... Unfortunately, I feel like I'm stuck again. Because even with some of these achievements, like, like for example, the reach E30,008 infinity points... This is your total galaxies boost galaxy points gain more, and, and since it does, and since it has to do with galaxy points, it's probably going to be completely OP. And then um, some of these, this one doesn't have a reward. Uh, this one, I need to complete all the eternity challenge or most of the eternity challenges. I'm nowhere close to this, but it's probably going to be pretty good, pretty good. I could go for popular music, though. It's have uh, actually. I don't think I can get 180 replicated galaxies, even with like active path. Like the max I can get would be like 100. So popular music is impossible, and the reward is very useful, but only for a later section of the game. And then of course there's the E308 eternity points thing, and of, and of course the reward is a galaxy. Uh, yeah, it's actually the same thing as this one. So and then there's this which I I can't even get with all the time studies, except I don't actually expect this to be all that hard um, Hard once I get a little more than E22,000 infinity points, but its reward is pretty bad. So, yeah. I don't think there's anything else here. Like, I mean, I can't get banked infinities yet. I can't get that much infinity points at all. And um, I can't reach that much replicante. Uh, I can't this will just come naturally. This I can't do. And then these, um, I need this one. So, I guess I can get this one, but it's like the only one here without a reward. I mean, I guess there's this, this, these three don't have a reward, but, uh, yeah, that's, that's tough. But anyway, I, I think I'm just gonna wait here and just try to get as much stuff as possible. Like, like actually the galaxy points really do help. Hopefully I'll be able to get more eternity points with all of these eternity challenge rewards. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed. Peace out.